What if I say there is one book where you can get all the musculoskeletal approaches like Syriacs, Maitland, McKinsey. Other than that, all the neural tension tests and all the special tests. Interested to know about that book? Watch the video till the end to know more. Hello, I'm your host Shongla and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to discuss about the books uh, that you can follow for your third year of studies in uh, EF assessment, that is the physical and functional assessment. Now, in PF assessment, the main five topics are first is the SOAP and POMR, then you need to learn about the communication, then you have to know the musculoskeletal approaches, which are Syriacs, Maitland. McKinsey. Along with that, you also need to know the neural tension tests, right? Then you have to know the neuromuscular approaches, which includes Blobach and MRP, that is motor relearning program. Other than that, you need to know about the special tests of every joint and important pathological conditions, right? So we will discuss one by one which book is needed for which topic, right? Okay, so first comes your SOAP and POM. This is basically an assessment format for those which have already made a video. So you don't need to go through your book to know about this, right? I have already made a video on assessment format via SOAP protocol you can check that video out alongside with that i have also made a video on pomr that is problem oriented medical record right both of this comes as a short note in your questions so please go through my videos once you get a clear idea about this then comes your communication right so from communication basically question comes like open-ended question, close-ended questions like that short notes, right? So for that, you need to follow the prior and Prasad book, which I have already mentioned in my general medicine uh, book recommendation for final year. So you can also check that out. Then comes your musculoskeletal approaches. Oops, I'm not going to tell you about that because I will tell you about the book which contains all of those at the end of the video, right? So then comes your neuromuscular approaches, which includes first your Bobak and then your MRP, that is motor delearning program, right? So for Bobak, what do you need to learn, right? Because Bobak concept is a huge concept and there are many books on this concept, but you need to learn specific things like RIP, RIMP, the facilitatory pattern and the inhibitory pattern. These are the most important things of Bobak approaches, right? So for that part, you need to follow Clinical Reasoning of Physical Disabilities by Rebecca Dutton. Now, this is a book for the occupational therapy students, but here you can find the Bobak approach in a very good manner. I have already uploaded those specific things that you need for Boba in my telegram channel. So I request you to go and follow that channel to get the notes, right? In this book, section three, that is neurodevelopmental frame of reference. This part, you will get all the important things that comes for your question and also quench your trust for the knowledge purpose, right? Alongside with that, you can also follow the book named Bobal Concept by Sweet Rain, right? Then comes your MRP, that is Motor Relearning Program. For this one and only book that you need to follow for knowledge and also for your examination purpose. That is a Motor Relearning Program for Stroke by Carl and Schaeffer who basically invented the program, right? So there goes your neuromuscular approaches. Now for musculoskeletal approaches, which includes Syriacs, 
Maitland, McKenzie. Other than that, the neural tension test. So all these four things you will find in the book OMPT, that is Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapy by Christopher H. Wise. This is the book I am talking about. All the approaches. See, the teachers might say to you that you need to learn from the books. There are specific written books. Books by Syriax, books by Maitland and books by McKinsey. But those are huge books and many volumes. So you cannot finish that alongside with all the other medical subjects in your course of study. So here you need to do a smart study. And for that, I recommend you to follow that book OMPT and you will get all the concepts in a very brief and appropriate manner needed for your examination purpose. Okay, now here for the neural tension test, you can also follow the Butler book of neurodynamics, basically the neurodynamic approach by Butler. So here goes your musculoskeletal approaches. Now for special test, the same book OMPT, that is Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapy. Here all the special tests are given in a pointwise and in a very short manner which you will understand once you just read the book. But if you want to know more details about that special test, what are the physiology behind those tests, then I will recommend go through the orthopedic assessment book by David J. Maggie, right? So these are the book recommendation and I personally followed it too, but other than that, there are some extra reads that you can follow for assessment part. You can also check the Sullivan part for the neuro assessment and, and to get a assessment format in all like ortho, medicine, surgery, neuro, cardio, pediatrics and other format you can get in the Gauri Shankar book. But I already made a video on the assessment format, right? For pediatrics, I have already made a video. Please check that out. For general format, I already made a video and I also mentioned that earlier in my video. So please check that out too. I hope you like the video and it will help you in your studies. If it does, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for future updates. You can also join my telegram channel to get all the notes and all the updates in the field of physiotherapy. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.